Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Wasn't planning on doing this today, but I thought it would be really, really important, um, provided what's happened over the last 24 hours, to talk about it, to discuss it, because these are the moments and the days where huge mistakes can be made. So it's a urgent video, a very, you know, my perspective on things, as always, right? It's just one person's opinion. But I want to talk about the events that have occurred for Phantom over the last 24 hours. Because there are some big things that have occurred. And how does that shape the future, more importantly? And it all started, I think, early this morning when I started getting messages left, right, center about FTM. And I was like, what about us? Like, Phantom's awesome. And it was all about the news that, ha that had occurred. So we're going to um, unpack it, talk about it. What does the future hold? What, what, what is my, I guess, perspective on it? But why am I making this video? Let me show you. Now, the reason for the video and coming out as quickly as possible with it is because we have Phantom sitting at 19.49% down for the day, which unlike the rest of the industry, it has taken a massive, massive hit. Now, why have we, have we dropped this much so quickly? Well, it all comes down to what, what has transpired over the last, well, I guess it's been building up for a long time, but you know, it's come out now. So what is all the FUD and what is going on? So a couple of um, big names in the crypto industry have disappeared from Phantom. And so that has caused for a lot of people to really, really freak out. And that's why we're seeing that today. So a lot of the DeFi projects that they were involved in, they are obviously not, no longer going to be involved in it anymore. And they were the main developers. And so that's, you know, the, the market has instantly taken to this, right? Which I will talk about that. We will talk today about why. Why does the market react so rapidly just based off news? Just, you know, two, I mean, they are, you know, the biggest developers, but, but two developers leaving and the market reacts this way. It shows just how early we are in cryptocurrency, right? It's all hype at the moment. It's based on hype. And so a 20% drop today is purely on hype. That phantom will no longer go around. I've even seen people across social media talk about it. Oh, look at this pump and dump. I knew all along that it was a pump and dump. And it just blows my mind to the point where I had to quickly run to get my mic to be up here to tell you this because some of you are going to make some huge mistakes over the next 12 to 24 hours if you haven't already. Calm down, everybody. Developers leave. Projects leave. That doesn't mean that the entire blockchain and, and all the value that it can bring to the market is gone. It's just two developers. Relax. You kind of get where I'm going with this video today, right? But... Let's dive a little bit deeper, talk about it, and, and you know, how we, how we move from here. But Phantom was very quick to release uh, some statements. We're going to go over them. Reminding Friday investors that despite CronJ's exit, more than 40 people were still working on projects. Just, you know, hey, guys, <laughs> relax. <laughs> you know, you know the, the development of Phantom won't be impacted by Andre's decision. And that, that is so true, no matter how good an organization is, like it's never impacted by just one individual leaving, right? This is a massive organization with 40 plus developers and like, okay, this, this one was a monumental one, but that doesn't mean that, the, you know, everything is up and smoke from here. So really, really do take the time and during times like this to look at the bigger picture not just the immediate effect of what's happened today. It's a good lesson for everybody. You know, like, you know, Michael Kong goes, you know, I want to clarify a lot of misinformation going around and share some upcoming phantom news. And then like, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up and I'll show you guys what he means by that. You know, they, you know, they, they went out and said, no, we're extremely grateful to Andre and all that he did for the crypto as a whole. However, phantom isn't and never was a one man team. There are 40 plus people working at phantom. And the team's working on consensus and more recently, uh, middleware have been doing so for years and the team continues to grow. So there's a big picture 
uh, going on. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to come out today and talk to you guys because there is a lot of stuff happening. So as many of you are aware, Anton, who works with Andre, tweeted that they're terminating 25 projects. This was misunderstood. They are terminating their involvement, but handing over anything they run on their onto their existing team. That was number one. Number two, many of these projects have existing teams. For instance, Yearn Finance has been around for years. Okay, so it's not a one-man show. Then to talk about you know what the team has been doing, and they're a great team, and they keep contact with many of the developers. Multi-chain will keep running as normal. Andre can ran one protocol on Phantom. Have announced that they are taking over. You know they're taking over the UI of that. So no, these projects are not closing down development. Some of them have been running independently for years. As for the Phantom, nothing changes op operationally. As at all core and middleware developers are working hard on the next updates, including you know the the Snap Sync, are uh, fast syncing on a fraction of the time for a full node that they're working on at the moment. The pedal DB, the RPC nodes, uh, so far reducing by 90% during testing. F uh, flat storage is coming, working on various and significantly improved the execution of smart contracts. They're continuously expanding the team, researchers and developers. This is true. Uh, this, this isn't FUD. And then the Phantom ecosystem consists of hundreds of developers building many great applications, which will continue. And so I like that the fact that the CEO went out and, you know, mentioned this and you know went quite uh, um specifically with it and i think it's really really cool that he did that because for me this shows really where we're at with the industry at the moment a lot of the prices on a lot of things is just purely based on hype and we as an entire industry have forgotten how important and valuable fundamentals are today is clear as day to me that 99% of you don't know what you're in. I apologize if that offends anybody, but I believe, my personal opinion, that 99% of retail investors don't understand a single thing about the actual core function and, and usability of what they're in. Now, it may seem harsh, but to me, that's how it looks. You're in because of price, because of somebody told you, and a, a basic research, not going into the actual core functionality of the blockchain, core functionality of what it is, how it works, what are the benefits of it are. I just don't think you guys are doing that type of research. To drop 19% in a day because of the news that came out, shouldn't have happened. In a more mature, in a more mature market that understands what is going on, I don't think this would have happened. So you know, Andre, they're closing a chapter in the crypto space. So that's that's what's happened, right? They're they're moving on. And people are are allowed to move on. <laughs> um, you know, people are bearing. Um, you know, you're in finance. Do you realize Andre hasn't worked on it for over a year? And even if he did, there are 50 full-time people and 140 part-time contributors to, to back things up. Like, it just takes a little bit of research. It just takes a little bit of research. And that is probably the most frustrating thing as the serpent. You guys aren't doing the, just the, there's a tiny bit of research before jumping to conclusions, before hitting the, bell, the sell button or before hitting the buy button. I really don't want you to buy something you don't know what you, what you hold. I really don't. Because then we get into, you know, days like today. If you don't know what you hold today, you would have seen red, freaked out and sold. What a shame. What a shame. Because this thing is awesome. So, what do I want you to do? I really want you to understand the ecosystem of Phantom. I, I really want you to understand the blockchain of it. And just in general, what it does, how it works, and all the key functionalities that make building on Phantom very lucrative and 
easy for developers of developing the next future products. Where do I stand with Phantom? For me, nothing changes. Yes, it, it is going to change how quickly Phantom bounces back from this. It's not going to be, it's not going to bounce back overnight. But I hold. I want to know what you think in the comments. As always, if you did learn something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you, and I look forward to see you on the next one.